Hi, Donald here with Floating Feathers Kayak Fly Fishing School. Um, today's tips and tricks is on how to hold your paddle for kayak fly fishing or kayak fishing or just kayaking in general. Okay, you're going to take your paddle um, and there are charts out there. There's a lot of information on how to pick the right paddle length for your torso, for your width of your kayak, and you have to factor in how far your uh, torso is or your butt is off the bottom of the kayak or the surface of the water. The higher you are, obviously, the longer paddle you're going to need because you are farther away from the surface of the water. Um, I've, I've got videos on that. Um, there are a lot of things, a lot of information out there. You can Google things like bendingbranches.com um, and what size paddle do I need, and it's an absolutely fantastic chart. Today, I'm just going to show you how to hold a paddle correctly. So, to hold a paddle, you're going to put your hands just outside your hips. Okay, so not at your hips, not way outside your hips, just outside. So if you just put your hands down to your sides and then just pick them up, okay? That's where you want your hands, roughly. Um, if you pick up the paddle and just hold your arms straight out in front of you and bend your arms at 90 degrees, it should hit you in the top of the head, right? That's how you know that you have the proper length, or proper width or spacing on your hands where that paddle is because it should just go directly on your head and you should get right about 90 degrees on your arms okay so that is how you hold a paddle um, I don't use thumbs now you can use thumbs if you like um, I don't use thumbs and if I do use thumbs I just put them straight on the shaft of the paddle I don't wrap them around like this uh, I find that if I just hold my thumb straight like this um, I tend to use I, it tends to remind me to use my torso and my legs and my hips and and paddle properly if I've got a hand my hands all the way wrapped around like this uh, a lot of people will grip too hard. Um, you don't want to grip this thing like it's gonna, uh, uh, like it's your, like it's like, like like your life depends on it. Okay, it's just a light grip. All right, you're not you're not trying to hold onto this thing um, for dear life. Okay, yes, it's your propulsion, but if you drop it, it floats. Um, you can use a paddle leash if you need to. However, um, it's not that if you drop it, it's fine. Right, you just pick it back up. So you don't need a death grip on this thing. It's a nice light grip. You notice my my knuckles aren't turning white. Um, if you're getting a lot of blisters on your hands, it's probably because you're gripping the pad. Or excuse me, gripping the paddle too tight, um, or you're trying you're, you're rotating your hands too much rather than the paddle itself. So if you let if you if you keep rotating your hands as in this paddle, you'll get you know burn right like a rope burn, but paddle burn. Um, so you get blisters, you get things like that. So lighten your grip. All right, so. Just out, hands just outside the width of your hips should get a 90 degree when you put it on your head or roughly 90 degrees when you put it back down. Your hands should be just outside your legs. Uh, your legs should be slightly bent. They don't have to be 90 degrees or 45, but you don't want them straight out either. Just a slight bend in your knees, just where it's comfortable. Your, your ankles, excuse me, your heels should be uh, uh, angled into the inside of the kayak and your toes should be angled to the outside of the kayak. Just slightly. This will help you when you get to ready to paddle, to push properly, turn your hips, turn your torso, do everything else you need to do, all right, if your feet are there. All right, so that is how you hold a paddle. That's a proper way to sit. Thank you all for watching. This has been a tips on tips and tricks on how to hold your kayak fishing paddle or just your kayak paddle. Thank you all for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so below. Uh, until next time, tight lines and safe paddles.